How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the How To Guy123 here and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 in a VirtualBox virtual machine. This is a great way to test out this new operating system without actually installing it onto your PC. So to begin we're going to want to go ahead and download and install VirtualBox if you don't have it installed already. Uh, I'll provide all the download links that you need in the description below. So just come down here to where it says VirtualBox Platform Packages, and you can download VirtualBox for Windows, Mac, or Linux. So I already have VirtualBox downloaded and installed already, uh, so I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. However, it pretty much just installs like any other program. So once you have VirtualBox installed, we're now going to want to download our Windows 11 install image. So once again, the download link will be in the description below. So once you're on this page, just go ahead and scroll down to where it says Download Windows 11 Disk Image. and then select the download uh, we only have one option which is windows 11 and then click on download and now it's going to ask you to select a product language just choose your language so i'll just choose english and then click on confirm now it's going to tell you to download the 64-bit version of windows 11 english just click on 64-bit download and now you're going to want to save your iso anywhere on your computer just remember where you saved it so i'll just save it on my desktop for now and then i'll click on save so it's a five gigabyte file. So depending on your internet speed, it might take a few minutes to download. So to save time, I've already went ahead and downloaded the ISO image. So I'm just gonna cancel the download for now. So we can now minimize out of our internet browser and we can go ahead and open up VirtualBox. So now that we have VirtualBox open, there's actually one thing I forgot to mention, and that's that you need to have virtualization enabled in your computer's BIOS. It's basically a setting that allows you to run virtual machines on your computer. So you basically just need to restart your computer, go into your computer's BIOS, and you're going to want to enable a setting that's called virtualization. Uh, if you have an Intel CPU, it might be called Intel VT or Intel Virtualization Technology. Uh, and if you have an AMD CPU, you're going to want to look for a setting that's called AMD V. Uh, I'll leave a video in the description below that I made a few years ago. It's basically just a beginner's guide on how to use VirtualBox. Uh, just watch it between 5 minutes and 7 minutes and I basically show you how to enable virtualization. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so once you've enabled virtualization, go ahead and click on new at the top in VirtualBox to create a new virtual machine. Uh, we'll just call this Windows 11. Under machine folder, this is where all your virtual machine files are going to be saved. Uh, I would recommend putting your virtual machine on a drive that has a lot of space as your virtual hard disk can definitely take up quite a bit of uh, space on your hard disk. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Under type, make sure that's set as Microsoft Windows. And under version, make sure that's set as Windows 11 64-bit. Now go ahead and click on next. Oh, I already have a, a Windows 11 virtual machine created, so I'll call this Windows 11 tutorial. Uh, now we can go ahead and click on next. Uh, now under memory size, this is the amount of RAM we're going to give to our virtual machine. Now just a rule of thumb, you don't want to use more than half the amount of RAM you have installed on your computer. Uh, so if we head into the settings here, let's open up my second monitor, uh, and then we go to system and then about. Here you can see the amount of installed RAM you have on your computer. So I have 32 gigabytes of RAM installed on my PC. So I'm not going to want to give my virtual machine more than 16 gigabytes of RAM. So the minimum requirements for Windows 11 calls for just 4 gigs of memory, and that should be fine. Uh, but just because I can, I'm going to bump this up to uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is 8192 megabytes. Uh, so now we can click on Next. Uh, we're going to want to create a virtual hard disk now. So click on Create. Choose VDI, Virtual Box Disk Image, as your hard disk file type. Then click on Next. Here, choose Dynamically Allocated, then click Next. Now we can set the size of our virtual hard disk. So this is the amount of space we're going to have on our virtual machine. So the minimum requirements for Windows 11 uh, requires, I believe, 64 gigabytes, a 64 gig hard disk. The Windows 11 operating system takes about 20 gigs of space, and you're going to want to have some space left over for files and programs. So minimum have 64, but I'm going to leave this default at 80 gigs, but you can definitely increase uh, this if you would like. Uh, so now we can click on Create. And we've successfully created our VirtualBox virtual machine. Uh, however, we're going to want to head up here to settings to further configure our virtual machine. Uh, under system, choose processor. And this is the amount of cores uh, we're going to allocate to our virtual machine. So the minimum requirements for Windows 11 requires a dual core CPU. So two cores allocated to your virtual machine. Uh, so that's what the default is set here. As with RAM, I wouldn't use more than half the amount of cores you have on your CPU. 
So if we head back into settings here, I have an eight core CPU. So I'm not gonna want to allocate more than four cores to my CPU. I noticed sometimes if you set more than half your cores, it can cause some instability on both your virtual machine and your host machine. So I'm gonna set mine to four cores. However, two cores should be fine. One final thing I like to do is head down here to display and enable 3D acceleration and uh, increase the amount of video memory we give to our virtual machine. Now go ahead and click on okay. And we can finally start our virtual machine. So now it's going to ask us to select a startup disk. So we're going to want to click on the folder icon here and we're going to want to choose the Windows 11 ISO we downloaded earlier. So mine's on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Uh, now in the list here under not attached, you'll see your Windows 11 ISO. Go ahead and click on it and then click choose and then click start. And that's going to mount our Windows 11 install image. Now make sure to press any key on your keyboard in order to boot to the Windows 11 installer. Right, so now we're in the Windows 11 installer. So right now, if I actually try and speed through this Windows 11 install, at the end, it's going to say that this PC can't run Windows 11. Our PC doesn't meet this minimum system requirements for Windows. So we're going to need to edit the registry here so that we can bypass the Windows 11 system requirements. So I'm going to click on the X button here. Uh, now at the main install screen, press shift and F10 on your keyboard, and that's going to open up command prompt. Now you're going to want to type in reg edit, and that's going to open up reg edit. Uh, so I'm just going to maximize this. Uh, now we're going to want to click on H key local machine and expand it. Now expand system and now expand setup. Now with setup highlighted, right click on it and then click new and then key. And we're going to want to call this new key lab config, exactly as I have written here. And that's going to create a new folder under setup. Now in the white space here, right click, choose new, dword 32 bit value. And we're going to want to call this bypass secure boot check. Bypass secure boot check. You're going to want to make sure you have it written exactly as I have written here with the capitals and everything. Now double click on it to open it and you're going to want to set the value data as one. And then click on OK. We're going to want to do this one more time. So right click new dword 32 bit value and we're going to want to call this bypass TPM check. Once again, make sure you have it written exactly as I have written here with the capitals and everything. Uh, double click on it and also set this value data to one. Click on okay. Now we can go ahead and exit out of regedit and we can also exit out of command prompt. So now let's go ahead and try and install windows and this time it should let us. So click on install now. Now it's asking us for a product key. Uh, now we can choose whichever version of Windows 11 we want. So in this case, I'm going to choose Windows 11 Pro. Click on next. Accept the license agreement. Now here, choose custom install Windows only. Now here we can see our unallocated space and it should have the same size as our virtual hard disk. Just make sure it's highlighted and click next. And now this is going to go ahead and install Windows 11. So this might take a few minutes. So I'll fast forward this and I'll be back once this is done. And there we go, Windows 11 has successfully been installed and now it has brought us into the setup. So now it's asking us to choose our country and click yes. Here, choose your keyboard layout and click yes. I don't want to add a second keyboard layout, so I'm going to click skip. Now it's going to check for updates. Uh, this part tends to take a few minutes. So here it's asking us to put in a device name. I'll just call this uh, virtual box VM. Then click next. You can also choose to skip this part if you'd like. 
Oh, it can't have spaces. Or is it too long? There we go. So now our virtual machine has restarted. And I believe once this is restarted, it's going to ask us to make an account. So here it's asking us, how would we like to set up this device? Here, make sure to choose setup for personal use. Then click next. So now it's asking us to sign into a Microsoft account. Fortunately, Windows 11 makes it pretty easy to make a local account. So here, choose sign in options and then choose offline account. Now it's trying to sell us on a Microsoft account, but here just choose skip. And now it's asking us to give our local account a name. So I'll call this the how to guy one, two, three, then click next. Uh, now it's asking us to put in a password, but it, you can actually leave this blank if you'd like. And I'm just going to choose next. Uh, so now we're going to want to click no on all the things Microsoft wants to track us on. So now it's checking for updates again. And it, now it's going to go ahead and set up our new local account. And once this is done, it should bring us into the Windows 11 desktop. And there we have it. We've successfully installed and set up Windows 11 on our VirtualBox virtual machine. Uh, however, we're not done yet. Uh, we're going to now need to install VirtualBox guest editions, and this is going to allow us to full screen our virtual machine. So simply come up here to devices in VirtualBox and choose insert guest editions cd image so now if we open up file explorer and we go to this pc you can see here we have an option for virtualbox guest editions go ahead and double click on it now scroll down to where it says vbox windows editions amd64 and double click on it uh, now choose yes and that's going to bring up the installer for virtualbox guest editions so just choose next next and install so this will take a few seconds to install. When it asks you, would you like to install this device software, choose install. Uh, your virtual machine might flicker a few times. So now that the VirtualBox guest edition setup has finished, choose reboot now to reboot your virtual machine. All right, so our virtual machine is now rebooted. If the resolution of your virtual machine doesn't uh, increase automatically, you can just uh, minimize the window and then maximize it again. And that should full screen the window of your virtual machine. And if you want to completely full screen your virtual machine, click a view at the top of the screen and then click full screen mode. Then click switch and that will full screen your virtual machine. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, if we head into the settings here, you can see here it shows our machine as VirtualBox. Uh, if we scroll down to about, you can see our addition is Windows 11 Pro. We have eight gigs of RAM, which we allocated to our virtual machine. And here you're pretty much good to go. You can run whatever applications you'd like in Windows 11 and test it out. See if you like the operating system. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.